link for the final project file is in the description you can download and play around with the scene and the original idea came from this commercial for the samsung notebook plus 2 and i saw this picture okay let's go first add a cube then add a geometry axis on it put the geometry axis under the cube turn up the value axis y up to 100 select the cube change its size roughly about the dimensions of a domino a piece of domino then add everything inside the null add a bevel deformer inside the null change the value of subdivision to something like one that's okay for now let's save the file it's a good idea live abstract dominoes v1 pole v1.1 add a cloner put the null under cloner object on the cloner object select linear as mode come to position here and increase the position for the z axis then on the cloner select render instance and for the count use something like for example 50 for now okay select the cloner add a plane effector come to parameters turn off the position turn on rotation come to side view increase the value on rp to something like this now on the plane effector come to fields add the linear field here where was it linear field rotate it to positive z push it back come to side view after adding linear field to prevent them from going through each other we can increase the length of it i think that's okay for now also for better result you can come to remapping time on linear field and for contour mode select something like a curve that's better come to top view drag the linear field at the start of the dominoes something like here push up timelines add a key here drag the time indicator to something like 70 drag the linear field up to the end add another keyframe now as you can see we have one stack of dominoes that are working perfectly put cloner and planar in the same null come to top view add two nulls name one of them a start one of them end drag the start null at the start position of the dominoes add another null name it controller select the controller now select user data add user data select boolean as data type and for the name type switch okay open the null for the base cloner and its effector on the plane effector right click add espresso tag now let's make the espresso for the scene what we want to do is that we want to change the starting position for the plane effector for each of the domino stacks next to each other so they are not starting and ending at the same time so first let's add plane effector here come to plane effector coordinates drag and drop the pz here click on the plane effector node make sure you are using relative reference here now let's add a random node here random on the random node select free as random mode let's also add the start and the end and the end null here for the output of them select pz and drag and drop the pz on the output of each one now let's come here and select for range mapper come to random node select positive only come back to range mapper add the real output for the random node connect it to the input of range mapper also connect the position for the start and end node to the range mapper as output lower and output upper and connect the range mapper output to the position z of plane when we drag on the timeline as you can see the position of plane effector jumps and is not a static so let's add a freeze node connect real to value and output to the range mapper input now we can turn on and off the switch for the freeze node here 
but we want to access this from outside of this espresso panel so we drag and drop the controller here we also add the user switch that we just made as output of controller node here let's make it bigger connect the switch to switch of the freeze here and now we can turn on and off the switch outside of this espresso editor for now let's minimize the espresso editor rename the null containing the cloner to something like one add another cloner add the null inside the cloner come to cloner change the value to 311 here and change the values on these three size until you are happy with what you are seeing now you can increase the count on this value tree another problem for now is that all the plane position and the effector are at the same position we want them to be random so let's reopen our espresso again by double clicking here add the parent null here we want to have a different random seed for each of the cloned object we can use something like position z of each of this cloned object select the null here come to coordinates drag and drop the p px as the output of one null here add the float map here change it to multiply input the position x as an first input of float map here on the second value enter a, a big value like 999 okay output this to random seed of random node here and after making the cloner editable here we can see each of these instances of the cloner object have different starting position for this effector so click on the cloner hit c close the espresso editor for now and now as you can see each each of these cloned object has different effector position but the problem is when i click anything inside the scene or drag on the timeline they are wobbling around and they are not aesthetic anymore now we use what we added at the controller object in user data tab here whenever i hit switch here they don't wobble anymore and they are aesthetic and moving as we can see in the viewport so this is a very nice controller that i can turn on and turn off to get different results let's say i'm happy about this one and i turn back on the switch and this result would be saved for now okay now let's add material to each of these open asset browser come to material search for something like plastic i love this one open material tab drag and drop this one into material here i duplicate it two times more i open each one change the color for each for example for this one i use this purple color for this one i use this yellow color add another one make it white add a plane here go to top view drag it and make it bigger as the floor for our dominoes here drag and drop the white one to the plane open cloner close all these select some of them right click on one of the materials click apply select another set of these right click on second material apply and select the rest of them right click here and apply okay let's add an infinite light here come to top view add another null here drag it at the middle of the scene name it target right click on inflict light add the target tag drag the target null onto target object move your light as you want you cannot really see what's happening so let's turn on the rs render view here turn it on okay so for now let's first increase the exposure for the rs infinite light better also on the infinite light come to projection and drag and drop the plane object here let's add a camera object go through camera view by clicking on this increase the focal length of camera to something like 120 let's first turn off the render view for now minimize it let's first put the camera in a position we like i think somewhere like here is okay turn back on the render view let's also add an dome light 
on the DOM light let's add an HDRI I love this one on the DOM light click on the DOM light come to object tab and drag and drop the HDRI you want as texture here and the scene is ready you can come back to controller object whenever you want come here to use the data turn on and off the switch to get different results and whenever you are happy come back to render view and turn on it and that was all for this video bye bye